and YouTube videos. And I will put a link to the um, YouTube videos that I saw. Survival School had a really neat one too. So I'm going to show you what I learned and this is how we're going to do it. I love plain fabric. You can use any kind of fabric you want that's cotton. You can have it really fancy. I like the plain because I like the 1800s look. So I'm going to go with the plain brown. And you can cut it to any size that you would like. I'm cutting them into smaller pieces because I don't use large pieces often. So this is the size I'm going to use. Find a cookie sheet that's old. You don't, you're not going to use it again for food because you are going to put beeswax on it. Okay, and I got this beeswax a long time ago at a thrift store for one dollar. So we're going to sprinkle beeswax all over it like this. You want to have the beeswax evenly on it and you're going to want your oven to be 180 or lower. I My setting is my propane stove runs a little hot so I'm going to set it on the lowest setting and then what you're going to do is you're going to watch it and when it melts we're going to take it out of the oven and we're going to spread it out and we're going to let it dry. Um, the more the beeswax, the better, but you want to have at least some of the fabric showing. You don't want to have it plastered with it, but you want to have it nice and evenly distributed. I'm trying to make sure it's all on the material. I'm almost done. Beeswax is very expensive, but if you look on Amazon, you can get it. Uh, fairly reasonable you just have to price around for it but I go to the thrift store my local thrift store I go there once a week and so I'm able to find some things because I go there so often and then I store it away like a little squirrel I like to store some things away for myself all right and then that's good and we're gonna put it in the oven and it looks really nice and we're gonna put it in the oven and when it's done I will get back to you and we will show you what it looks like. Nobody seems to tell me how long it has to go in the oven. Um, so I'm just going to watch it and when it starts melting then I'll get it out. Um, you can put it on top of a wood stove too if you don't have an oven. But this is how I'm going to do it and I'll get right back to you and we'll see what it looks like when it's out of the oven. Alright, and it is finished. You get it out of the oven. It took about eight minutes. And when it's done, you want to get it out of the cookie sheet as quick as possible because you don't want it to hard on the cookie sheet. And then we're going to hang it on a hook like this in a hanger until it's dry. I'm make sure the sides aren't touching. That's what it looks like. I think you can see it. It looks like that. And I'm just going to hang it up here like this until it's totally dry and it's hard. And I'm going to keep doing some more pieces. Let me see. Let me see if you can see it. That's what it looks like. Isn't that pretty neat? Um, and so, no more saran wrap for Tessie. So I'm going to go ahead and make a couple more of these and I think I just found myself a new hobby. Well, take care, everyone, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.